Hello everyone, how you are doing? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a super efficient and compact ore processing system with the Create mod. Hope you guys enjoy. So the first thing worth mentioning about this system over here is that it excels at making its byproducts. So for instance, if you take a little stack of raw iron over here and put it into the input barrel up here and come to the other side to see better, you can see where our iron is currently getting crushed by our two crushing wheels then getting dropped by the chute on top of the depot where it's getting washed by four fans. And as you can see, we already got our first byproduct, which is the nuggets of experience. Just as you saw where our crushed iron became iron nuggets, we got our second byproduct, which is redstone. And our iron nuggets is getting smashed down into ingots by our mechanical press. And with this depot and the side funnel system over here, we have it transported into the sparrow over here. While on the other side, we have all our byproducts going to the sparrow. Yeah, you can see where our solidified experience or nuggets of experience gets transported into the sparrow. That's basically the whole gimmick of this whole setup. Now to actually building it. So for building this contraption over here, we're going to be doing these resources over here. So for the following, feel free to pause the video anytime if you want to list down all the materials over here. So what you're going to need is one vertical gearbox, one mechanical belt, 9k chain drives, 2 brass funnels, 2 barrels, 1 mechanical press, 7 inside funnels, one de 6 depots, 1 basin, 4 encased fans, 4 shafts, 1 chute, 7 gearboxes, 1 smart chute, and 2 crushing wheels. You're also going to be needing 6 4 water buckets. But you can you can also just use two because you can make an infinite water pool and stuff. You're also gonna need some building blocks. In my case, just glass because you can see through them. A way of generating RPM, which can be either windmill or just a couple water wheels. And lastly, you're gonna be needing three filters. These filters must have listed number one the ingots of what you want to use the ore processing for, which there, which there is only four if you're only playing with the crate mod. Then you also need nuggets of it, so iron, gold, copper, and zinc. And lastly, you want to have all the byproducts that you can get from the ores loaded load into the filter. So solidified XP, redstone, quartz, clay, and gunpowder. Now let's start building this thing. So in the middle, on the front middle, you build four up and you place a barrel on top of it. This is your input barrel. On the side, you're going to be placing a brass funnel, which is pointing outwards. This can also be an andesite funnel, but this is just faster. It can process more sting, more items at once if you use the brass funnel. Uh, directly below it, you're going to be placing left and right two crushing wheels, like this. Below it, a chute, which catches everything up. And below it, again, a depot. On the four sides, you're going to be placing four encased fans and diagonally in front of it. So if the, the, the front of your setup is like this, you're going to be placing one basin and above it, a mechanical press, which makes sure that the input for the, RP, for the rotational speed is on the sides and not in the front over here, just to keep that in mind for later. You'll see why. Next thing is one that you want to dig down, like over here, and place a smart shoot under it. For the smart shoot, you're going to give it the filter of these, the byproducts, so these five things, and give it over here. Then you go a block again deeper and place another side final, which is pointing into the block in front of it, so the arrow goes there, it goes inwards. Then you're going to break a couple blocks over here. You're going to be placing where this block is just now was, a depot, so the andesite funnel is actually pointing to the depot now. Another funnel which is pointing to the block right in front of it. So if you're standing from the front side, you can see an andesite funnel, depot, the andesite funnel is pointing into the right block. Over here we're going to break this block, this one too. You're going to be placing two shafts and covering the shafts with a belt. Then you're gonna be breaking these two blocks here where the yeah where the shafts are. And be, you're gonna be placing one 
gearbox and right next to it a vertical gearbox and then you're going to connect all of these up with in case change up so you're going to place one two three four i might have to build up over here and five so that it is in line with the crushing wheel you're then going to be placing one gearbox two gearbox and connect it together with the shaft you do the exact same thing with the other side so you go one two three and this time you do four then gearbox gearbox and shaft then you go to the front side again you're going to be placing a depot over here with an underside funnel going into it above the underside funnel you're going to be placing another depot with another underside funnel pointing into it then you're going to be placing your output barrel, or your output chest or barrel in my case, with another underside funnel going into it. You do the same thing on the other side, so output barrel, underside funnel inside, depot to grow below it. You're actually going to be placing a depot onto this block over here, so the basin will give off a small output or so onto this depot, where you just yeah, sneak right click to let the depot to let the funnel point into this depot like this. Lastly, you're gonna connect up the crushing wheels with the press. So you're gonna put one gearbox over here, two gear two two gearbox over there. And as actually very last thing, you're gonna be putting your brass funnel over here with the thing pointing into the basin. Make sure for a filter, you're going to be putting the nugget filter, so this one. And for the last filter, you're going to be putting it as a recipe filter for the basin. Now to placing the water. I'm going to put a couple safety blocks over here so it doesn't spill everywhere. Also over here. So one water bucket, two water buckets, three water bucket, and four water bucket. So everything should be correctly, if everything has been correctly followed, this is how it should look or so. So now if I get a bit of raw iron and put it into the input chest, you can see from the back. After of course I hook up my RPM generator or so, where it's getting processed by the crushing wheels as explained beforehand where it falls down to the depot the solidified xp will get once it gets this gets turned into iron nuggets the rest of them will get dropped down by the chute will get picked up by the funnels and be brought over here into onto the belt same thing goes for the solidified xp once it can actually drop on top of the depot because the chute only picks up from the block above which is the depot and the solidified XP is slightly above the block, so it doesn't get picked up yet. So once all of the nuggets are like not anymore in the depot, the solidified XP gets dropped down, gets picked up by the funnels, and being brought up to this uh, byproduct chest. And here we have our iron processing, which is just, yeah, what you expect from an ore processor. So yeah, this was the whole build. If this tutorial was in any way helpful, please feel free to like and subscribe, it really means a lot to me. If you have any questions regarding this, feel free to give, let up a comment, I'll probably answer it or so. And yeah, if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya!